After a career spanning seven years of service to the citizens of El Paso County, a beloved K-9 officer is hanging up his vest. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison looks back on his career and the heartwarming goodbye in this story that's absolutely Colorado. An emotional day here at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office as the staff says goodbye to Taz, a longtime K-9 member of the department. Foos, 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 foos. A deputy with a furry partner whose sense of smell is 50 times better than a human's make a formidable team. Trainer and handler Nicholas Witherite recalls some of their highlights together, which sadly came during homicide investigations. And he actually located uh, six strands of the victim's hair that were still stuck between the rocks on where she was dumped. So there was a uh, there was a double homicide uh, out in eastern El Paso County um, in Taz actually located the victim's wallet in a field that uh, the detectives, the mounted unit, uh, ground troops had already searched. Taz is being sent off to retirement by his fellow sheriff's office members. He enjoyed a special cake, one made of cheeseburgers topped with fries. He received plenty of applause for a job and a career well done. He'll move in with the family of the partner he's always known and recover from serious injuries received while in the line of duty, apprehending dangerous and violent suspects. Taz may be leaving a department, but he won't be forgotten. His name will be added to the memorial wall, the list of 10 other canines that have served over the past 10 years. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Absolutely Colorado is a partnership in your community between KRDO, Centura Health, and Gold Hill Mesa.